아, 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 turn on chi jig the pabunga am i stupid Hi guys, today is an exhausting day. I'm super exhausted today. <clears throat> oh, right. Yesterday, I spent a whole afternoon after I streamed outside going to different pop up stores, and I'm really exhausted. So. <laughs> Today I was going to say guys, and I didn't even get to edit anything, so I was going to say hey guys, no stream, but uh, instead what I'm going to do is just stream for a short bit, um, read some news, and then do some programming, and then maybe I'll end around 1 or 2, and hopefully I can... <coughs> oh my god, my voice is also dying too. Oh. Um, Tacoma? Donation. Okay, we're done with donation, by the way. I'll have my next batch of day day field trip uh, coming up, so. Oh, thanks. Nice. Actually, there is some updates <coughs> regarding that. Ah, <coughs> ah. Good morning. <coughs> I think. Ah, guys, my voice is closing. Also, I was thinking about 
looking for a job. There was a job field that I wanted to get into that came out yesterday. So do you guys remember one of my favorite YouTuber? He is trying to look for a researcher position. It's not really well paid, but I was like, maybe I should do that. But I have to go to work. So it's a dilemma because if I go to work, it's a 10 to 7 job, 7 p.m. job, which means uh, my streaming career is going to end. So. Ah, uh, I've been thinking a lot. Yeah, you go to work at 7 or 10 and then end at 7. So honestly, if I, you know, if I were single, then I would be like, yeah, let's do that. But because then I can stream later that night. So. But it's a. Ah, I wish it's a 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. But. Anyways, I, I'm still thinking. I was talking to Mia yesterday about it anyway, so... Ah, oh, my voice is so dying! I'm so mad! Do you hear how crappy my voice is? Mm. Uh, I didn't even get to play Lost Ark yesterday. I got so exhausted. Oh! I need like a... I need like a massage. I got home yesterday at 6. Sora's been really lonely lately, as you guys know from what she's been like, uh, complaining about to you for her chat about, I'm so lonely stuff. <laughs> that <clears throat> we were out and then I was going to go home to get dinner and she was like, do you want to get dinner with me? And I was like, oh, I, 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 I plan dinner with me. <laughs> it's sometimes very awkward to be the one who's married. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Cause I wanna go home and see my husband. <laughs> hey, I laughed. What can you do, guys, right? Yeah, lately she's been really lonely. I can feel that, so it's been, it's been a journey trying to find the husband material. Plus, maybe... Maybe her... Because I know her non-streamer friends and uh, a couple of non her non-streamer friends and most of them are married, so maybe that's why. But there was a guy, actually, we went to three pop-up stores and there was one guy that was really good looking that was working there. And I was like, oh, he's really good looking. So recently in those pop-up stores, they've been trying to hire good looking people. I was like, oh, he's good looking. I was like, but Sora was so busy doing her, like the game that she was playing that she didn't realize it. But from like my point of view, it was completely her style. Like he was really good looking and very tall. I was like, oh, you know, like, but she didn't notice him until this morning. She was like, oh, the guy next door, because she was sending pictures to us. And she's like, oh, the guy next to, it's very attractive. I was like, sorry, you just realized. <laughs> Maybe she might go back to the pop up store to find his, uh, ask for his number. But, hey, good looking guys have girlfriend already, right? I even clipped when whether she still liked appearance for her taste what hold on let me reread it i even clipped when she talked about her future self and whether she still liked appearances for her type ah still it got worse <laughs> oh it got worse <laughs> it's like it's mandatory i don't know like so recently i've been i've been like introducing oh did she stream today too uh recently i i've been like introducing to my guy friends to girlfriends and like finding people and honestly these guys are okay looking you know like they have eyes face and they're decent but oh it's been no 
<laughs> to my friends too, like guys are picky to girls and girls are picky to guys and they're all in their like early 30s and I just see to myself. Oh, thank you, Dolly. I just I'm just like sitting yeah. here being like, really, you guys are like, if you guys are going to be this picky, you're not going to get married. OK, <laughs> that's literally what I want to say. Oh, I don't I can't I can't see the clip but thanks <laughs> Check it out later so She mentioned how her mother said looks aren't everything when they get old I say that to all my friends it's not just her but I'm like And honestly if they wanted looks and if she wanted to get married with the looks then I say you should have done that earlier <laughs> Right? It's like when you are young, you can do it. But if at that age, not just Sora, but my friends are also 30 and still caring about looks. I'm like, you guys, like, look at my husband. He's not that good looking. Actually, yeah. Oh. He's like, he's like decent, right? I shouldn't say that. You see. And, and as long as we have a similar <laughs> taste. <laughs> She's a K-pop idol? Well, like, not for long. Wasn't she? Didn't she debut at like 25 or 6? <sighs> but anyways... I say, I say... Well, like, Sora's a different case, right? She's a... But actually, it's really hard for me to introduce people, like streamers, to my friends because my friend has regular job um and so it's really hard for my friends to understand streaming unless they watch streaming so even like i cannot stream during the weekends and i tell you any holidays is actually a break for me i should be streaming on holidays but like that's the only time mia has free time right so oh thank you thank you thank you so i i actually you know I'm sorry, chat, but I value him more than you guys. <laughs> so, when he's taking a break, even if it's like weekday, there's actually a couple of holidays coming up. And I'm like, Mia, can you just go to work? <laughs> I actually said that to him. I was like, can you go to work? <laughs> but I don't want him to rest. Where the hell is my music coming from? Here it is. It's a it's a fun story. Random fun story thingy. Is it Kyojo Iku? Was I gonna oh, play? Oh no, I was gonna turn my music off. Yeah, that's what you were gonna do. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Future Sorma! Did you give up? <laughs> Did you give up, handsome part? Do you think another parts are better than handsome? <laughs> Is this one till one? Wait, is this till? No, it will. Ah, uh, this was today? Did she talk about this this morning too? <laughs> Come on, let me, let me respond to Sora. Okay, yeah, well, let me... Oh my god. <laughs> Sora. Future Sora. Future Sora. Did you give up? <laughs> did you, did you... Are you did sure? Did you give up, handsome part? How about the height too? Y you forgot the height. Do you think another parts are better than handsome? <laughs> Did you give up the height as well? <laughs> you worry about the height too, Sora. <laughs> Cause okay, if it's just handsome, there's guys. 
still available. But she also wants guys taller than 184, 3 something. And I tell her, Sora, the Korean average height is like 170 something, like 5, 6, 7, right? Uh, no, it's height. <laughs> so I make fun of her. I'm like, Sora. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my. I can't find my fake glasses. I'll actually show my actual glasses. I surely, I think she values them equally. Height and the uh, thing. So I tell her, oh, you should maybe marry like a... Uh... Where's my fake glasses? But... For me, I think she should date someone that's like a like a photographer or uh, those type of field. Yeah, it's not like I don't look at height either. But I, as long as he's taller than me, I'm okay. But I got uh, not bad. But she does really like height for some uh, face for some reason. I mean, a lot of girls do. It's not a bad thing, but... Well, you know, if you think about it, it makes sense, like... When you get married, the biggest thing you want to do is have checks, right? You want to have, like, good checks with that person. Now, how do you have a good checks with a person? You know? What makes you have a good checks is you obviously... Like, that person has to be good-looking, right? <laughs> if he's ugly, fat, short, and he's like, oh, like, you don't want to have checks with that person. It makes sense. So when she says handsome, she has... No, but she actually wants someone handsome. <laughs> but at least has to be decent, right? You just have to... That's, that's a life of... Checks. But that phase goes long though, right? Like looks isn't everything. I mean, I'm also at the point I am at the uh, level of looks isn't everything. So. Guy who was about 185 by the lady. Purely based on his height, because he wasn't taller than her with blue cheeks. Oh, she like said no to a guy who's 185 because he wasn't taller than her with heels. <sighs> Was rejected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go... I don't know why they value height so much. Oh, what was so but that's life. I didn't think the Sora was gonna talk about <laughs> dating to chat again. Guys, she must be super lonely. <laughs> oh, I feel like it got worse lately. Yeah. Morning, farmer. No, I I think it's true. I think that's definitely. She does it every stream? Dude, doing it every stream is not easy. <laughs> it's okay, Jelly. She does it too when she hangs out with me too. She's like, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, going home and cooking for Mia. He's like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I, well, I guess I'll go home and eat by myself. I'm like, Sora, are you <laughs> making me feel bad for leaving? <laughs> so I don't talk about my husband. Like... That's like a ground rule, apparently. Oh yeah, that's also too. I think it like started with me because I got married and apparently that was like a big portion. So if you come, to, if you get, you guys see my house, right? So my house is very clean with like, uh, we have, it's very like a stereotypical ideal 
a newlywed house. We have like fun things. We I have a I don't know if I showed you guys, but I have a board. I have a menu, and it says, uh, Joey's PC Cafe, or oh, PC Bar actually, because I was drinking. So I did like, uh, tell Jinri, I love you. I love you is like cooking ramen. Was well, something like cheesy like that because that's been kind of like my dream since uh I. You know, as a gamer girl, uh, that's something that I always wanted to do, right? <laughs> you saw every girl sees it and makes it an Oz and be like, this is the ideal like house I wanted to live in. And now I'm like, okay, well, I, I, I mean, it's like bragging. I know it's like one point I'm bragging about it, but at the same time, it's like, um, Ah, <laughs> like it, it, you guys can do that too if you don't have that high standards if you lower your standards a little bit and go for guys that's capable for you guys you guys can do this you know it's it's interesting it's funny and then i think because like of her sister and like her sister, I met her sister too. You guys probably know her too, but. Does it have to be guys though? What do you mean, does it have to be guys? Like, dating, she can date a girl? <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> Uh, they, um, well, I mean, at that point, they should. You mean she's still? I don't want I can't say she's. What I worry is if, if people, if a lot of girls don't lower their standards at that point. Um, and I think because a lot of her, a lot of the friends nearby are getting married. Like one of my friend also wanted to get married because her friends are getting married. And my other friend broke up with her, um, with her boyfriend. Uh, I don't know the reason. When the reasoning was pretty interesting, but I didn't say anything. But she didn't really feel for it with this guy. Uh, and I think they were on kind of like uh, it wasn't gonna go anywhere. They've been dating for five years and stuff, but. Now her sister is married and her sister is kind of telling her that marriage isn't bad. So she's been looking for people too. And I think she's more gullible than the other people, but it's it's definitely not an easy easy thing. Yeah. But I've just been having a lot of girls around me saying they want to get married but their standards aren't getting lower. And it goes with guys too. It goes for guys. Like I had a guy friend too that like told me, like introduced me to any girls. I'm like, okay, like you have to give me your standards. And he's like, as long as she has like a, uh, uh, well, yeah, she has a chromosome of X Y. Uh, nah. Wait, is X X girl or X Y boy? Uh, but anyways, you know what I mean. That I'm fine. That's literally what he said. And I'm like, are you sure? Do you like looks and everything? He's like, as long as she's like decent looking and everything. And I was like, okay. I found two girls. Gave it gave her gave him the number. He saw the looks. And he's like, oh I, she's not my top. I'm like, are you effing joking me? <laughs> I was to slap him, man. I was like, really? You really had to do that to me. <laughs> Ah, uh, and people just don't message. I swear to God. <sighs> oh. My matchmaking service, I, I, like, honestly. I'll be honest with you guys. All my friends that are, that I think are nice and good are already taken. And I think that goes with girls and guys. Like, I have a lot of guy friends, but I've noticed <laughs> I love Sora. She's amazing. I think she's talented and she's like best quality. But the fact that she goes for looks so much, I can't introduce her to any of my friends. <laughs> so, you know, 
it, oh my guy friends has one flaw that's so big oh my girlfriend has that one flaw that's so big and so they don't combine well together so i say if you wanted to do this like go off finding it on your own good luck like there's still good people out there but the chances are low like it's reality guys honestly if you're a guy that has such a good spec they don't look for guys quality or girls quality that much you know don't have to be rich blah 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 same with girls if the girl really likes a guy even if he's like doesn't make like millions of dollars they are still willing to marry and enjoy their life so It's sad. It's really sad. I'm sorry I have to talk about dating tips to you guys, too. <laughs> but... Yeah. Though I do regret saying I never dated a guy that's younger than me. So I keep telling Mia to say Duna, but then he won't. So I keep getting mad. But... I think once girls hit around 30 to 35 that range that's when a lot of girls get married so that's when they are starting to get desperate of finding someone so um lowering standards is probably a good thing but at least don't marry someone when you aren't sure that that person is uh a good person for you so mia said to look at his friends because a lot of the time you date someone or your friend you know you hang out with similar people right so if the friends are nice then it's okay but hi frankie boy anyways sorry for the random dating tip i just find it funny that i just like lately i've just been having to introduce people to other people a lot like a lot so <laughs> i've been at that stage of <sighs> everyone is so picky i have good connections no i actually <laughs> My connections aren't as good as it used to be, but I don't have good connections. I don't want to have good connections, too. <sighs> no, 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 no. Don't come to me, guys. Don't come to me. Like, I worry that my girlfriends will not like you guys they are very picky okay even you guys just see sora she's number one handsome are you guys handsome are you handsome are you guys handsome are you guys 185 just dm me if you are korean 185 living in korea and very good looking like handsome like handsome <laughs> if you have heard that you are handsome uh in previous life uh, sorry not previous life if you have heard that you're handsome uh from other people let me know if you have heard that oh wow you're very good looking from a girl from five other girls then dm me i'll introduce you to sora if you have not heard that gtfo man <laughs> that's one of my friends named sora she doesn't even care if you're rich or not i mean as long as you make bare minimum i think she's okay uh my other friend friend number two if you have if you are rich if you have if you go if you have a job with uh if you work at a big company and decent looking and very sweet i don't even know how i can measure do that measurement as a data analyst it's hard very sweet and very kind and very generous but also you have to be smart then dm me <laughs> and my other friend my other friend's actually the least to pickiest out of all but she's a she's a developer she's a programmer so she just says 
uh you know as long as he's nice he she said height maybe 175 but doesn't uh, somewhere around there and uh just smart and working hard and uh you know like texts texts a lot so if you guys have that trait let me know oh but you all have to be korean <laughs> Okay, you all have to be Korean. Living in Korea. <laughs> you can be maybe Korean American, but you end up having to live in Korea, guys. Can you do that? <laughs> Is that you guys? Then DM me. <laughs> right? Just... Isn't it? And the worst comment to hear is they keep asking me, is that person a good person? I'm like, at this point, I have no clue, man. <laughs> I have honestly no clue. Maybe, maybe not. Mm, not sure. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Don't ask me. Don't ask me any of those questions, guys. Get away from me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and also, there are people that are good to me as a guy friend. As a friend, he's a really nice person. But maybe that friend to a girlfriend isn't bad. Oh, is bad. So I never get to know. Like I have a guy friend that I introduced to a friend a long time ago. And he's a really nice guy. Like he's very dedicated and blah blah blah. But my friend, my girlfriend that I introduced to called me crying saying they broke up. And that these are the things he said. And he said the meanest thing that I would never ever like, you know, like hear from. So I was like, wow. <laughs> uh. So it's it's unpredictable. Like the moment you just introduce and you know, as long as his facial appearance is decent, then it's okay, but you never get to know. You never know. You know the girl follow the guys? Where are you living? Like 1990s? <laughs> Anyways, that's that's life for you guys. Um, I don't know if you'll ever meet the right one, but good luck. Wish you well. I hope you guys get to meet a nice girl. And, uh... Yeah. <laughs> don't say anything. Don't come to me, guys. That's the least I want to hear. Today I should be reading news, but I am so lazy. Oh no, I was actually really exhausted yesterday. Oh. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Should we end stream today? I just want to talk to you guys and maybe read some news and... and I know because I haven't been home lately so I didn't get to do house cleaning and I finally got to do house cleaning for a little bit I didn't even get to finish it I was like oh my god it's already 10 so I rushed home I rushed to you guys so oh, super exhausted I marked yeah sure In-laws, yeah. I mean, having, like, as long as it's not debt from, like, he spent $5,000 on all, like, $5 million with all these, like, stuff, I'm okay. But... Actually...
Actually, dating, I have more marriage. If you think of all those, Farmer, if you just think of all those, like, how's the in-laws and everything, you will never get married, guys. Like I tell you, there's always going to be that one issue that you're going to not like about your husband material or girl wife material. Um, and... Uh, Shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Jinri! Remember, you were going to be really nice to your chat. What happened? Oh, Dolly, what are you saying? F you, Lucid. I hate Lucid. Why is Lucid so effed up, man? No, no, no. What do you mean? <laughs> um, but. Well, here's the thing, guys. Farmer. The moment you said that, uh, makes me think of when girls go... It's like guys don't make that much money. It's like... You know... There aren't... The percentage of girls wanting purses for every matching outfit is really low. Like, that is a drama tick. That's literally saying when girls compare to K-dramas wanting this type of guy. You know? That's like 1%. <laughs> you, we cannot make a statement saying that's every single girl that you're going to meet in the world. However, you can say, you know, I wish the girl is more, you know, like... Because if you say that, like, Mia shouldn't have married me. Because... I like to spend money, like, my cost spending has decreased a lot where, um, you know, I would just go shopping every day and everything, uh, but now I'm more saving up money, but, you know, like, that's every girl's. So. And let me just say this too, Farmer, I don't mean to, like, attack you, but if you want to get married, like, those type of girls that want purse every day won't be attracted to most of you guys anyways. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Let me just say it. Those people know that you cannot buy them purses every day. So won't even ask for after, after like, the next day. They will just say goodbye. And ta-da. <laughs> you will figure out that girl right away and that girl will figure out you right away you know that that does not you know so you don't have to worry about it unless you are rich unless you are actually rich like like you know you have that vibe but those people can identify each other so yeah so don't worry, farmer. Those girls won't even get in interested in you. You will find nice girls. <laughs> That's reality. Right? <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> like, it's pretty interesting because... I don't know. They like can sense whether or not you have money. Just by asking a couple of questions. I'll probably ask you your school and like where you work. And by that, they can identify whether or not you have money and that you can buy them. That I'd be having a a uh, a uh, steady life of blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do programming. I'm not sure we're, when we're gonna go there. I've just been very exhausted to do so many studies because I've been out um, yesterday and the day before. And I've been also working out and exer I went out yesterday and I'm just so exhausted. It's been like I had to film, I had to take videos for people and I'm like, oh my god. Very exhausting. But we're, we're hoping to program. I've just been quietly, secretly playing Lost Ark on the side. <laughs> um, sorry, Chad. It's, it's been fun. No, actually, yeah. If you go to just public, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, jolly, yeah, they they will know. Yeah, so that's where I got the feeling that when you guys get old, you guys just- everyone just ends up getting picky about dating. And you- and you know what's also funny? Is those who are married will say, Guys, stop being picky. That's not everything. Still, they are picky. They don't listen to people who got married. They- like, people who got experience. So at one point, all the married people just shut up. They just... <laughs> it goes one year and goes out the other year. Like, I've heard what Farmer said so many times. They're like, I want the girls to work. That's a mandatory factor. I'm not dissing you, Farmer, but they're always... That's my standard. Okay, it's like, dude, what about having a child? You still want her to work? Like, her, she's going to damage her body so well. Like, I've known so many guys who are saying... You know what? It's okay for you, you to, you know, stop working when you want. And like, you know, they're caring for the women, not trying to fight against them. <laughs> That's the difference between why these people are, you know, like, married versus they're not. <laughs> yeah, Mark is pretty picky. Mark, I think, is really picky. Because, Papa, Christian... Like, fit, girl, Korean American, nice, is hardest, hardest mix. Especially in America, that's hard. Maybe if you come to Korea, then maybe it's possible. But you wouldn't like it if someone went, is like, like, what are they? Chede? Chede Chushin이면괜찮아요? Wait, do you want me to... Wait, but... Because, like, my grandma... <sighs> my auntie... Wait, but here's the thing. Not dissing you, Mark, but you look very Korean-American. You know what I mean? And sometimes Korean Koreans don't like Korean-Americans. So, like, I can introduce you to Korean girls who are Christian. But then in terms of, like, are they going to be, like, vice versa? That's a different story. <laughs> Cause like my aunt had like a list of lines of all these like Christian girls and I'm like these girls will not like my brother because she's Korean Korean and like my brother is not is like complete Korean American with all the styles and everything so I said no I kept saying oh brother brother is busy oh she's too blah 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 I was being that picky uh, sister No, 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 that's weird. Do you happen? Hi, what? My Korean travel tips list posted? Like, locations? Guys, dating is hard. I know it. I don't have, like, a separate list if that's what you're asking. But I have it on my Instagram of like videos. Is that what you need? Bro, I mean he already got- he's getting married so I don't have any complaints. <laughs> hey, my brother's doing so fine. Yeah, <laughs> my brother's getting married. And like, he found- Uh, yeah, yeah, that also would have been something that my brother would be have interested in anyway. So I already- yeah. I still am shocked that my sister like, likes my brother. I prefer to read, just wanted a list of how to survive around Korea. Ah! You know, I was going to make something, a list of something, something. That's been on my, like, priority list, uh, Seishi OG, but, like... <laughs> Are you coming to Korea? 
Do you want to pay for Jinri service? Uh, per day, guys, is a, is like uh, how much should it be? Should we say Jinri is a travel service? Jinri is Korea travel service. Maybe we should make that like legit. November? November? What does that include? Uh, Gyeongbokgung. <laughs> Just a day of showing around Korea. Gyeongbokgung is really awesome. Yeah, and then it goes by hours. We'll do just like till lunch. <laughs> like three hours and then there's a there's a four hour plan. There's an eight hour plan. <laughs> <laughs> and oh and then there's a special night exclusive where i take you guys out for hunting <laughs> okay good night that even even a song uh only three days have you been to korea you're willing to buy this? Actually, Strife, you are not a bad... I'm trying to remember how you look like. I met too many interns in New York. Strife, if you are... You're not really a bad candidate. You're not that bad. I don't remember. Mark still needs to get his hair changed. Hairstyle changed though when you come to korea so don't cut your hair and then come to korea we never met no we met you were the s'more guy well you're not actually the s'more guy but oh really anya we met he's lying he's the s'more guy yeah so mark don't cut your hair and come to Korea and get your hair styled there. And lose the belly, man. Go out and exercise. What are you doing watching my stream? Actually, watch my stream while you're exercising. <laughs> hey, you think marriage is a joke? You know how people work hard for marriage? You know how hard they try? <laughs> Wait, but it can't be on a Wednesday, though. This uh tour guide, Jinri's tour guide, can't be on a Wednesday because that's like the day Lost Ark is like it's a new day for Lost Ark, so I have to be playing Lost Ark. Dead body is appealing? No. <laughs> hey. Naru, do you go to church? Will you be willing to date Mark? <laughs> if it's appealing. Looks aren't everything, but I think I don't Janair? Isn't Janair an airplane? <laughs> She... What? Ah, uh, check it. Ah, yeah, Janir isn't bad. Janir is good. Janir is a good... It's like... It's like American Air, if you think about it. One of the top Korean... So, top Korean airline is... So, S-Class is Korean Air. Um, Asian, As Asiana. Next is Janir. And Jeju Air. I've been on both. I've been on Jinair to go to Hokkaido. It wasn't bad. I liked it. Guys, I'm doing secretly. I'm gonna start... My content. Um, at 11.03. 11, 11 <laughs> because... There's a... There's an island coming out. <laughs> 
Uh, Tui? I, I never... I never took Tui before. It, I, I think it's not bad, but... Let me lost the arc. I'm just, uh, sailing. I'm sailing right now. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do anything. No, no, pickleness. Guys, I was really exhausted. I'm really exhausted. Today, I just didn't want to talk. Anyways, next week, let's go to Ichon on Friday. I think on Friday I'll go to Ichon. Chill stream? I we can, but if ah oh. ah <laughs> Joey and career advice. You know, say she Oji. Mia is so happy when you donate twenty dollars to Joey. He gives Joey treat. Let's do Joey Zero Two. Long time no Zero Two. Da 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 I would stay in North Korea. Uh, North, no, North Korea. North of Korea. <laughs> oh, <Rihanna>. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys, I told you, I'm exhausted. Can you believe it? I said North Korea. Uh, I would go stay in north, uh, north, south, the like, north part of Seoul. That's what I want to do. Oh, it's a little bit of a Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll stay north part of Seoul. Um, maybe book uh somewhere. Um, talk on what? Uh, and then that wasn't even when I was playing... <laughs> playing Lost Ark, guys. That was just me having a brain fart. Wow, I forgot. Why did I think of North Korea, guys? I Come on. I would stay... Maybe... If I were you, first time visiting Korea... Mm, I would stay around like... 충무로역, 동대입구역, 약수역, 금호역. That area. That is a good area to see different places. Number three, line number three is really good to place to stay. I wonder if they have Airbnb. Because it's connected to... If you're going to take the subway, which I highly recommend because... It's more capable. Uh, not city, they are... I'll put this on Instagram. Thank you, Daru. Daru, you are such a good um, clipper. Ah, uh, taka. I, I would stay at Chungmuro Yok, uh, Dongdae Gu Yok, Yaksu Yok. Chungmuro Station. Igoni, guys, guys, someone find the English name for that. Reminds me of a time I asked a Korean dude I met in Koje if he was from here or from Northern Korea. Later, I realized he could have well misunderstood me there. <laughs> Are you from Northern Korea? Does he think I am North Korean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that region, I think, would be best to stay to tour for Korea for three days because you can take the line number three down that is like the kind of the center area um so if you go north of that area is um like Gyeongbokgung and all the traditional part and if you go south of that area that's more the Korean traditional 
I mean, if you want to go to the DMZ, that's a different story, right? Yeah, so. so it really depends in the three days what you want to see. DMZ, I think it's still open. What? I don't know. Should we go? I want to go DMZ, but I don't think they'll allow me to stream there, right? North part of Seoul. Seoul. My ID? Thinking I'll be something else? Oh, really? Wait, if I need to go to DMZ, they... Really? Guys, I have an island. I'm at the, uh... I'm at a different island. So I have to do this island thing. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have island to do. Hello, Ash, I got second because of you guys. Ash. Ande! Ande! Today I'm super exhausted. I just want to sleep. I couldn't even wake up this morning when Mia was going out for work. I work out. He actually woke me up and he's like, Jinri, do you want to go work out? I said, eh, no. <laughs> oh, I should actually go work out today. America can visit. They can visit DMZ. I think they can. Why not? I suck at this game. Really? That's lame. Why am I sleepy? Because yesterday was just so exhausting. Hanging out with the girls. I think I ended up being kind of introverted. I'd rather just stay home and play Lost Ark than go see my friends lately. <sighs> it's so exhausting. That happens to streamers? Yeah. I think that's a typical thing to happen to streamers. Because... Oh. Not work. Not, yeah. I'm starting to hate people. Like, not not blaming on Sora. This kind of sounds weird, but I've like I've seen my friend. I've seen four different friends lately, and everyone, every single one of them keeps talking about dating and getting married to me. Chicha, not joking. Can you believe it? So that's why I maybe that's what made me super exhausted. Oh. <laughs> that's why I didn't want to meet people. So I'm happy that this Saturday I'm going to see married friends, people who are married. Yeah, no, it's like including like Sora too about dating and marriage and everything. Oh my god. And it's like I give them a tip saying, hey, don't don't find guys that are you know this 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 spec. They're like, but I can't give that up. Then it's like so then what? <laughs> then meet that guy, but he will be younger. Be like, oh, then he's too MD. 
Okay. <laughs> okay, then. Then marry someone who is. Who has recently got divorced. Oh, but he has divorced. <sighs> oh. Then just die alone. No, I didn't say her. I didn't say that. What do you want me to Yeah. So I'm gonna say. It's Mark's problem. It started with Mark wanting a girlfriend. That all that's when it started. So it's all Mark's fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you found her a guy that didn't already have a girlfriend, would you have stopped hearing about it already? Yeah. So here's the funny story about girls that I that I observed because I am a data analyst. We like to observe, right? Um and so one of the fun things that I observed is Sora is pickier than me. I uh, honestly, only thing that Sora matters is height and looks. Chincha, height, looks. That's it. That is it. Period. That's it. But looks is really hard to identify because for me. The, the like boyfriends that she showed me long time ago isn't my style <laughs> so honestly <laughs> he is decent looking but like wow he's so attractive isn't my uh, <laughs> oh <laughs> right um so it's hard for me to introduce her to so she just has to wander around a lot so if she doesn't stream you guys you have to accept uh, understand and just give her money to go out for days okay that's something that you guys have to do my my friends i'm sorry but that's your life if you uh, if you started being a soda that's your future life is just give her money for her to date and you know what then you will get quality content from her <laughs> that's so good yeah you just have to pay for her dates that's easy, right? <laughs> so it's hard. But like and but then another thing is my friends want guys who is at at working at like Samsung or something something, you know, like big companies. Then I'm like Because I know those picky, those people are picky. Uh, well, of course there aren't people like that. But if you go for not picky, like like uh, big company working people, then they are not good looking. It's it's math. Like okay, let me just show you simple math. It's easy calculation. So let's start with. Let me identify all the guy types. Yeah, let me start off with all the guy types. Yeah. If he is good looking, Baba. Good looking. You know, if we do the if, then he is no money. Right? You guys agree with this? There, well, there's a couple of outcomes if he's good looking. Actually, yeah, there is a couple of outcomes. Yeah, if he's good looking, one, no money. Two, short. Three, dick. Four, uh, divorce. Oh, the the. Or is it D E D I? Yeah. Right? If he's good looking. Two and three. <laughs> Why? Or five. Too young. Okay. Why he has no money is dude. If he's... Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, 
let's just say he's an asshole. Okay. Now I know you guys. <laughs> okay. 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 Asshole. Now I know you guys question why no money. Because look, if he's good looking, there are other girls to give him money. We are streamers. What do we have in common? We are pretty. What do we get in return of being pretty? Money. Now chat, give me money. Nena. Ta, I show you my pretty face. Give me money. Nena. That's easy calculation. So if the guy is good looking, girls. Oh yeah, how did you know? Strife, but give me tier 3 sub. Where's my tier 3 sub? A uh, dollar is too cheap, man. Give me like... Add Money. two zeros. There, say she OG. What are you doing, man? I gotta do my earnings so I can end stream early and rest. Or else I'll send you to North Korea again. <laughs> You want me to send you to North Korea? Say Add two zeros. Or else, I'm gonna send you to North Korea. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Ah. So, this is all everything. It's okay. I... That is. 1.00. There I added two zeros. Thank you for a dollar donation. <laughs> really? What happened to Meta? Ah, fish! Don't tempt me to read news. Okay, I'll read news after we talk about dating. I know we've been talking about dating for an hour because that's the that's like I've been hearing about dating and finding a guy for the past two weeks, guys. Can you believe it? For the past two weeks, I've been hanging out with my girlfriends, and all they've been saying is. I want to date. I want to get boyfriend. And I'm like, okay. It's hard. So we're going to talk about this for another 30 minutes and then we'll move on to reading. Okay. I know. So you guys have to deal with the same pain I'm going through. <laughs> Why to you? <laughs> what do you have to offer, Dr. Fish? <laughs> Ta Fish, I have three girls. You have to satisfy all three girls. Ta one. Uh, girl. Refuse to buy Twitch subs. Thanks for the twenty-five dollar. Thank you. That's okay too. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Strike. Thank you, Kamsam Do. Big hat Do you want to see Joey zero two, or are we good with this? Nina. <laughs> <laughs> Strife is not sent to North Korea then. <laughs> oh, where are we doing? Okay, yeah. So if you're good looking, you go issue. Okay? Ta, if you... And then if you are... Are at... I should have made like a kind of like a Venn diagram. If you're at... Named company. And single. Let me highlight this. Jinja. It's great that they got into a good company. But a lot of the times, the moment they get into like a named company, they end up being a dick. I don't know. It's like it's like an equation. It's like eight, eight, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Most of the time, they saw all of a sudden I'm so full of themselves. It's it makes sense that it was really hard to go into, but they the word modest does not apply to them at one point because yeah, it's literally their best achievement, and that like so the moment they go there, they're so picky. But that's a problem with Korea because people will be lined up to date people in the named company but <laughs> if you are not a dick then the another problem comes is that you are not good looking
It's kind of sad, but but I think Nate is this. So most of the chances is that they will kind of look down on girls. And say, hey, you should quit. <laughs> quit work. Yeah. Quit work. Is this how you spell quit? But if not. Work. And. Do house chores. House. Chores. Not all everyone. Not everyone's a dick, but usually this leads to this. It's like weird. It's weird. I should have made a fish fishbone diagram of this. There's lots of things that lead to one. So, and if you want everything, if you want good looking, rich, etc. One, too young. Two, uh. Married. Three. <laughs> Interested in something else. Four. Or too old. <laughs> so. so people really have to meet with someone in their standards. Like. It's hard. It's really hard. So, anyways, that's. So chat, don't look hard. Don't look hard. This is one reason Korean birth rate is declining too picky. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, so a lot of Korean, like, Ajashis are saying, oh, it's because of housing. Housing is also a big part, but I don't think it's as big as saying because they are picky. They don't understand. They think, oh, it's I don't get married because of housing, but... Anya, <sighs> It's not just housing. They want, like, their afterlife of getting married to be also... Ba -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh, ah, good, good, good. Housing is part of being picky and refusing to move out of Korea. That's what I say about people living in California. Sorry about guys, but... It's like expensive you can't afford to leave <laughs> why you stay there right there's other nice countries or cities out there but no you just have to live in california because you want to be blah 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 Who said move to Texas? There's other cities out there. Do you really think United States, it's California and Texas and that's it, guys? <laughs> and that's what I think a lot of Californians think is that there's just there's just Cali and there's the evil Texas and that's it. <laughs> and I say I'm from Wisconsin. What? Is that Canada? <laughs> right? That's you guys. F you! <laughs> I got you, got you. What is Wisconsin? <laughs> oh, Green Bay Packers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Texas to, Ca to Californians is evil. That's what I've... That's the, everything I've heard. Like... Texas equals Texas equals bad and uh, like hell and uh, le must leave.
<laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Do I like Wisconsin? Yeah, Wisconsin is not bad. I live there. If you move to Texas, your electricity bill would be $9,000. Why? Oh. Never said I'm moving to Texas, though. Hey, if I move to Texas, then I will not stream PC. I'll do IRL stream every day. <laughs> East Coast, Best Coast? Yeah. Okay, Dr. Fish, give me your specs. Let me rate you. Let's rate Dr. Fish, guys. Fish is giving me content. I think he realizes I don't want to read news. Da? Good. I'll ask you some questions. Let me let me Ah Kidayaba let me let me let me be back. I have to get ready because I am a I'm be a consultant. Be back. Mong 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 Slice bread I'm being I tricked and I part of Jinri Ko. Your pay is mm. Jinri's Aikyo and love. <laughs> Did I want that? Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm in my dream. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm dreaming. <laughs> my mm, love. Okay, thank okay. you. And, and my Aikyo. Okay, darling, let me. Hi guys, today I'm not Jinri, I am a dating consultant uh, working in Korea uh, to find you the right girlfriend for you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> today we have one intern who wants to meet a Korean girlfriend. Oh! Dr. Fish, did you read my mind? Oh! I was going to ask you. Today's payment is a hundred dollars. Kumawa, thank you so much. Kumawa. Okay, Doctor Fish. Today we are evaluating Doctor Fish. Okay. Uh, the question one: How many girls in your whole entire life without your mama and auntie said you are good looking? Oh, oh, tum. You know, face wise. How many girls says that? Or has called you Gisang Orebi, which means a kind of like flirting Opar, or you know, like face wise. How do you rate yourself from 1 to 10? What is your face equality? Pretty good amount? Ah, jinjo? Jogodo. Come Oh, really? Okay, 7 out of 10. Jinjo? Oh, not bad. 7 out of 10 isn't bad. Oh, okay. Uh, give me your height and weight. Do not lie. Height and weight. But guys, today I can be done with stream. I earned my earnings. I'm so happy. A 170. Ah. Wait. 
150 pound is uh, 나누기 2.2하면 예, 잠깐만. 자, grandma has to calculate. 기다려봐. <laughs> This old lady brain does not work anymore. Where is calculation? I see why old lady. Oh, 68. Thank you. <laughs> oh, 68? Not bad. 68. Oh. Do you exercise a lot? Do you do you work out? How much do you work out? Do you do weights three times a week? What's your hobby? What do you like to do hobby wise? Music making? Oh, 괜찮은데? 괜찮은데? Ah, okay, okay. And the last question. We just need five questions, guys. This is it. <laughs> This lady knows everything. Just the five questions and we're done. The last question is... Uh, uh, did you come back? <laughs> 혹시 no, no future girl issue like ETC? 아니다. Just give me two more questions. Are you divorced? <laughs> Is very important for single women. <laughs> I never married. Wait, how old are you? Aren't you 1991? I have a feeling you were born uh, 1990. You're 93? January. Oh, okay. Oh. 아닌데 잠깐만 잠깐만 계산하고 있어. I'm calculating guys. Is mm. looking. Well, you have a lot of income, right? Because you like to invest. Oh wow, company, company. You are IT, IT position. What's your position? And uh, from one to ten, what do you rate your company value? 그렇지 그렇지 그렇지. From one to ten, how? What do you rate rate your Honestly, guys, Dr. Fish, conclusion. You're Korean American, right? If you got 7 out of 10 rating uh, with the for 1993 and everything, you are, if there's an S class, A class, B class, C class, if this is all the class, you are A class. A or S. Actually, A, are you, uh, I, I would say A plus. The only thing that a lot of Korean girls are going to be like uh, is about this. You get to watch you I'm sorry. But but you don't do speak him. Yeah, it is because minimum height that all the girls want is 173 to 175. You take call. But S, S, A plus, A plus. Hey, do you like short girls? I know one girl that's 158 centimeter. <laughs> Are you willing to visit Korea? <laughs> She is born 1995. <laughs> My friend, she's short and cute. Not a streamer. Actual legit friend. My high school friend. She's born 1995 and uh, she is global marketing. Global marketing works in Korea. Um, uh, has I think she has a sister and she is the sweetest girl ever. Sweetest pie. Problem is moving to US. She is very fluent in English and I think I think if Wait, I should check. Oh, and if I had to pick baby her, would be good for you. Yeah, she's she's fluent in English. Cause she's she. Okay, you know how I'm Korean American. I I but when I hang out with my Koreans, I don't speak English at all. This girl speaks English, and I'm like, oh damn, no. But yeah, I think yeah. Uh, you talk. If I ever had to pick baby her or how much? I a plus a plus. 
actually there are girls that are, would line up to see you at least with this i think the biggest thing was fortune fortune 500 fortune 100 and yeah one 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 uh, i think good company you know i have a girl born 1994 <laughs> I have 1995 equal. Uh, I have born 1991. Good tongue. Like, you height Ah, hey, you should wear. There is a there is a shoes um out there um that my friend said he is also 173, but he is uh, if he has uh, if he wears. There is one shoes that makes him into 178 when he's 173. Ah, if you wear Balenciaga, there's a shoes that with like you know five five centimeter. That increase five centimeters. Chincha, you should get that. that, that. I'm being sold. I'm being sold feels like feels dishonest. I have to wear that. Ah, I'm just a cop. I'm the king. Just the height. Honestly, <sighs> actually, height isn't everything. They should like. But if you think about like Ise, your your offsprings, you know then. And height and uh, i'll be honest why girls has a thing about you have one company benefit you have my company benefit oh really you know even if they have company benefit how about how about me nanan <laughs> Just kidding. I couldn't do Even if that's that, I actually fish streamers will like that. That's a spec that streamers will like. <laughs> I couldn't do if I was like, "Kido just copy." I should have had. But I. The biggest thing about height is the fact that if they go, um, if they go to wedding. They want to wear heels, right? Ugh. Not girls like travel problem if I don't like travel. What? <laughs> On the free flight unlimited anywhere is really good. Can I? Can you? Can I go to your company? Can I work at your company? <laughs> <laughs> Do they need social media? Blah blah blah. <laughs> social media marketing. I've experienced in social media marketing. <laughs> but yeah, Korean girls actually. Ah, this is the problem. Actually, yeah, yeah, cause. So average Korean height is maybe 160 to 163 and then their biggest problem is if they wear heel heels then it's one they end up being like minimum 168 centimeters right so if they do wedding then it ends up being you know you guys are only two centimeters apart so It looks better when they're taller than me when I'm in heel sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, I think, the biggest thing. Is that, like, they don't want to be same height. But then you don't really wear heels. Too. And, like, if you hug your boyfriend or... Oh, there was my glasses. Joey was sleeping on it. But if uh, but then if you hug them, you know, you don't want it to be like... Oh, you want it to be like... Oh! Height is actually a bigger issue than I thought of. Actually, I don't look at height. 
I say that I dated someone with 178. Miane. But actually, height wasn't a big issue. My ex boyfriend was only, I should say only, 173 or 172. It's not a big issue. I don't like wearing high heels anyways, so... But I somehow for Koreans, height is such a big issue. So even if you have like... Ah, you don't know 진짜 좋은, 좋은 스펙인데? Then they still sigh at height. Ah, but the kia. So... Anyways... You're S+, plus, uh, you're A+. Plus. Guys, give a round of applause to Dr. Fish Fish Fish. I mean, guys don't care about height for girls, but girls care a lot about height from guys. Not just in Korea, really? Do you think other countries worry about height too? That's what you get. But... Yeah. So Fish, if you are thinking of visiting Korea and looking for some date... How will I introduce you to my friends? What would I say? They, he is my viewer. Actually, the image of viewer in Korea is those like fat, chubby, like ho oh, oh, ho oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Oh, Miyane, I'm so sorry. So, I have to say like, oh, he's uh, my long lost friend uh, that I've never met. <laughs> only, only through PC. <laughs> He's my online friend. <laughs> Anyways, thank you. Thank you for the... I don't know if this was good consultation fee. <laughs> I think I scammed him. Could anyone want consultation to see if you can meet Korean girlfriend? Feel free. I, I, what do you mean C? S, A plus. Ta. I have 1994, 1995, 1991. If you come to Korea, I can introduce Jack Jack Jack. Really? Ah, cool going. And it's not like the girls are tall, right? You're too old for Korean consultation? Hey, give me give it a try, Seishi OG. Give it a try. This this lady is uh very exact. But then since height is one of the biggest issues. But if with this spec is are you would you be okay fish if the girl doesn't work uh because uh, like during pregnancy and cares about kids and they give you food that a lot of girls would be like oh let's get married we're gone actually it's really good but <sighs> oh if you were only three centimeter higher <laughs> Can you? Hey, maybe if you stretch, <laughs> can you stretch or do like bone bone cracking and do something? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's if you only three <laughs> fish. If you come on, come yeah, maybe like. <sighs> Ah, because actually, you know what's shocking? I, I, this is like revealing about my family history. But one of my cousins, I think he is one seventy centimeter. Got surgery, knee surgery to increase his height by two, three centimeter, because height has been his biggest nemesis. Like that has been the like his stress. So he actually got surgery because of height. Because he knows lots of Korean girls are looking into height. Yeah. Hey, Fish, do you want to join my collection of husbando materials? Good. You want to come? Good. I'll quit streaming. <laughs> I, have, I have collections, yeah. So Mia is my husband, and then I have... Uh, Felix, he he doesn't know that he's dating me, but I secretly, uh, you know, we're we're secretly dating, yeah. And then I have um, Anyosa. He's also a talent, good. He's an actor, and uh, he is busy these days. But we are dating. <laughs> you can join my collection. And the young speaker is really expensive. 
아니 외모가 if if it's seven out of ten이면은 이 정도는 then you work out invest 나이도 괜찮고 good age this is thirty right this is what thirty one thirty one right now and never got married <웃음> 네, 진짜 아깝다 이거 이 스펙은 진짜 아까운 스펙이에요 진짜 키만 에센 <웃음> 아우 진짜 아쉽다 아 아쉽네 Why did you not grow? <laughs> Were you on computer at young age? You did break dancing? <sighs> guys, why? Soldier time, guys. You got a three minute ad? Oh. You didn't listen to mom? 근데 진짜 if with this back at 170 한173 5만 됐어도 fish would have already gotten married. We would have never seen fish. 이 정도 스펙이면 거의 한 28에 결혼했을 수도 있다. But see everyone has one flaw. 아, 이거 너무 아까운데. Cuz I recently, you know, I've been I've been uh God is fair. God is really fair. I've been, you know, looking at guys spec and everything, but just, uh, all the guy friends that I got in terms of pictures and everything has been. Chesel minimum maybe one seventy five or one eighty or in that range. Decent looking. Oh, I should. <sighs> See, I there's a there's a friend group chat with a bunch of guys' pictures, and I'm looking at it right now, and I'm like, ah, cha, and the spec too, ah, shouldn't it? Ah, cha, kima, tall. If you ask, one centimeter, three centimeter, man. morning Hush. yeah it's really hard to meet koreans there i think what if the height that's why not married yet for me because you want to be korean right i'm the talk on the if you come to korea to meet a girl there are definitely guy girls that will go follow you what? How much is five seven or five eight? Yeah, but that only increased by two three centimeters. So, five seven is what one one eighty or manga? Oh, how much is five seven? A uh, one seventy two, a uh, one seventy three. Ah, but really, Doctor Fish, so expensive. This is, ah, 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 I, it's like bare minimum though. Not to. It's like bare minimum, you know? So. Yeah, she speaks English. Oh, chicha? Wait! How do you want me to ask my 1995 friend? friend? I don't know. Because she's a really close friend. Oh, that's true. 
Okay, and it's like it's like you're online. We're online friends, right? So I cannot give my friends <laughs> my personal. <laughs> 아 근데 너무 아까운 스페인데 이 정도면 아 씨. Cause you know why? If I introduce, uh, if I introduce friends to friends, then they, apparently at weddings they're supposed to give me like present. So that's why. Like I'm supposed to give Mia's friend a present. We were supposed to give him a present because he introduced us together as a thank you for marriage. If if they go to marriage, right? So yeah. Ah, you don't walk. Even you're not fat. 68 kilos. That's not fat. You work out three times. Music making, invest. Do you have any girl like girlfriends? 여사친 있어요? 진짜 아까운 이건 진짜 아까운 스펙이야. 그래, software engineers has no friends. 그래. 야. 아 그러네. 아, it's okay. 아이 그래서. If it's for my friend, then it's okay to lose a viewer. 나는 그 정도는 뭐. I will, I will find a new angel investor. Don't worry, fish. As long as my check gets married and live happily after ever after, then I'm fine. As long as you guys are happy. This is normal accounts pig. Yeah, this is. Hey, but if you marry a bitch that wants your money, then give me the money. Yeah, normal accounts, Anna. If the girl doesn't treat you well but wants your money, then give it to me. Tell tell her you don't have money. Software engineer has no friends. I. It's good. Number one thing girls don't want are girl friends. So I lost lots of guy friends. I don't mind. We rarely talk. Only maybe New Year's birthday done. I just ah, thank you, Chikae. Happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Okay, done. Ah, uh, what are you doing these days? Oh, I'm getting ready to marry. Okay. Or happy or happy New Year. Oh, yeah. Good. Done. Let me. Do you want me to show you my chat? I have a group chat with my guy friend. Who's your kid? We don't talk about like oh da 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 na na na. I have like a couple of group chats with guy friends. How do I hide? Maybe their names are like only introducing girlfriends and rest is talking about game. Like eclipse. <laughs> yeah, you don't move. Can you This is uh, day I got. This is a chat with my guy friend, Baba. I say. I say I I finished within a month. Comment the first. Wow, congrats! I did it. I got eclipse. The end. That's it. Good <laughs> job. And then, Baba, this is funny. It's my guy friend's birthday. I said, "Oh, happy birthday!" Good. Oh, your guys are one day apart. With lots of birthdays on February. Thank you. You should do party. No chat till twenty eighth. Is it right? This is real conversation. Yeah, he likes walkwood. Actually, he's the guy I was going to introduce to Sora. Oh no, man! My other guy, Odinio, I cannot even find their group chat. We haven't talked in a while. No, man. <laughs> this chat is the worst. Even I changed their name to Hogu. He was a Hogu, Bobo. Just to send the picture, Bobo. All he did, send the picture. Says, well, I went to Norway without mountain. It looks like Madison. Oh, Norway. And then talks about his girlfriend. And I said, did you go to Madison? Ah, it's Kawondo. Ah, oh, you went to Norway. I didn't even read his chat. And then... <laughs> no, man. And then... And then he just sent pictures 
and doesn't chat. And I just asked for guys. That's it. That's all our talk. Oh, and I said, uh, oh, he sent me pictures and he's like, oh, time flies. Because he sent my wedding pictures. What's the dog? That, that, that's... This is how guys and girls should talk. If, you, if guys and girls don't talk like this, then it's... Mm -mm. Then I think someone has emotion. Just a simple. Who cares? Oh. Hey, I met a guy. And the guy is caring. Ego not Anyways, lesson. Lesson of today is do not make girlfriends who wants you to treat them like girlfriends. That means that's a big no-no to girlfriend world. So I don't really text it. It's hey, it's like. I'm, I was always, I always had guy friends around me because I'm a, I'm an engineer. So I, I had a lot of girlfriends that did not like me. And I've also had to deal with my ex-boyfriend having to text a girl at like 11 because she, her, she and her boyfriend fought. We just say simple. Ah, oh, you got girlfriend? Okay, congrats. The end. Don't talk. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's end for today. <laughs> I, I'm supposed to read the news, but I'm exhausted. And all I've been doing was talking about dating and raiding my intern. Oh my god, I am a worse streamer. Miyane. <sighs> Can you believe it? That's what I've been doing all day, y'all. And secretly playing Lost Ark? Oh, I wanted to bring you guys this news, though. There was one news that I found earlier for you guys. I know, and I, I scammed the chat into paying me $100 to just say you were A+. Plus. <laughs> hey, but that's what consultants do. I gave you backup data. Girls like tall, tall people. Um, you're, you're, That's your flaw. That's something you have to work on. But other than that, your spec look okay. Good. That's what consultants do. Hey, I should write that on my resume, guys. <laughs> the Markinen! Uh, if it's a. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Mark's rating is. Mm, okay. And then you pay. <laughs> If you want to un uh, if you want to reveal the B, <laughs> you must pay hundred dollars. <laughs> if you want the B to go away, it's hundred dollars. <laughs> um. Anyways, I just have a fun random news I that I was going to bring in for you guys because um. Well, okay. So I have to be. I should have been editing for the past two days, but I've just been hanging out with my friends, and uh, so I have done zero editing. So my YouTube and my uh everything is kind of out there. So that's why I should uh, really focus on just doing those two right now. Uh, I mean, I should still hang out with you guys too because you guys are also part of my work. <laughs> but um, I'm already also lost losing my voice. I'm sorry. Uh, I talk so much. <laughs> but anyways, uh, one news today I wanted to share, and then I'll move on to like. IRL while reading the news tomorrow um, catch up with meta and everything by tomorrow so don't worry we will still talk about how meta lost it uh, lost in stock price and everything but last news of today and we are being done for today and I found this interesting I want to hear your thoughts uh, but this is actually very old news this got up on the Korean community side and I thought this was pretty funny uh interesting and I want to hear your opinions because like I said 99.99% of my viewers are guys so here it is back in two oh this is Sora <laughs> hi Sora jump 12% I told you I was gonna buy Tesla and Mia said no F you Mia I could have shorted I should have short Tesla. I told him 
Tesla went down. It's a time to buy. And you know what he goes? You should wait till February. He is not a good investor. Anyways, um, uh, this news happened in 2019. Back uh, uh, where an Australian cafe was charging men tax. It ended up closing. But this was, I thought, pretty interesting. Where a vegan cafe in Australia charged men 18% premium. To reflect the gender pay gap with the fund given to charity actually closed down uh but it was going on it opened on august 20 2017 and there was a board a chalkboard outside explaining its voluntary voluntary men tax and women priority seating hit twitter so uh and so while some praise the idea others rally on social media that it was reverse sexism so the co-owner alexandra said the response went crazy maybe it is type of marketing though it was a it was like a robin hood theory of taking from the rich and giving it to the poor was what her response and it helped kickstart some of the strong foundations with the community that were built Described on the cafe's Facebook as a men tax, the premium premium was only meant to run for one week each month, but was made permanent after the publicity led to an increase in customers asking to pay. So then they said that they were the cafe was closing that was also used as a meeting space for women and LGBT plus group as they wanted to move on to other causes and travel around Australia. So this was actually like a legit thing and I wanted to show you guys uh, the, the, um, the... This actually was also on Korean news. I didn't know about it, but... This is what it said. Handsome Her is a space by women for women. So it was only for women. The house rule says rule number one, women have priority seating. Rule number two, men will be charged on 18% premium to reflect the gender pay gap, which is, this is a 2016 um, thing, which is donated to women's service. And then it was on Korean news. And I'm guessing she is the uh, co-CEO. It's in Australia. And um, once every month, or sorry, uh, one week per month, they require the men to pay up to 18% because of the gender gap wage. And then it's not like she was going to kick them out, but it's for the good deeds. And so there were customers saying that this is a great idea. They're saying it's a perfect idea because lots of people don't know about it. And so they had a tipping area. But then it was uh, closed, as we just read. So. I just read this this morning, and I was like, wow. Gender gap. <sighs> so that's... That was like a legitimate thing. Back. Back, back, back when this happened. So... Yeah. yeah that's why i i find the word interesting of sexism so one of the things that like remember how we studied uh feminism and my conclusion ended up being you know i support back 18 like 1800s early, early 1900s there definitely was those type of sexism out there or um how women wasn't treated right like you know women Voting right also happened later on and everything, but one of the things that was pretty... I forgot where I was going. Oh, uh, interesting. At least in Korea too, regarding this message or this issue is that a lot of the job fields in Korea add the word y'all in front. So y'all kisa means uh, like girl driver or something 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 right so they can saying this is 
gender issue, right? Why are you adding the word yoja in front? So I guess at one point, sexism ended up kind of just saying when guys are doing something against women, right? So that reverse sexism ends up being vice versa. So I guess what I wanted to say in that term is that it's interesting. The world is interesting, you know, like there's lots of things you guys can believe in and um, yeah. I don't know where I was going with this. Well, uh, but I just, I just, I honestly still to this day want to look into jobs, like actual jobs that have gender page gap. Um, I know my friend mentioned a couple of jobs in her area, and I always asked her, hey, like, are they working at the job, same job field? Do they ha get hired at the same time period? Like, what do you think makes her get different payment? They were a never able to answer that question. So, I just find it interesting how, you know, it's it's really scary how there's lots of news out there that you can believe and read into and believe it, believe the news that they're saying um, without really looking into what's really being the issue and what it's causing. So having something like this, maybe they were doing it for good cause, but yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely an interesting field that I find it's. I actually would have said it's pretty funny too that they were going to do that and speaking on behalf of like a women I because I'm a girl right I, I have boobs and I, I don't have a dick right um, it's really sad that they are making something like this thinking that it would change the world and change how people are viewing it but I only think it's just causing more hatred against each other and this is kind of related to getting married guys because at one point, the world just ends up hating on each other. Everyone just hates each other. Like, girls hate guys, guys hate girls. And, you know, like me doing this um, matchmaking thing for two weeks, I've just started hating on people. <laughs> because the amount of pickiness that they are getting into. And this, you know, even if they're not saying it's, you know, it's not forced for you guys to pay the 18%, but we want you to acknowledge the gender gap wage. Well, have it, have they ever looked into what was really causing gender gate? Like, um, you know, like, have you really looked at looked into it? And did you know there are definitely job fields where guys don't get as paid much than girls should? You know, modeling jobs. That's been one of the biggest areas that girls are be treated better than guys. Guys actually get treated like crap there. Um, and a lot of models, uh, Asian like asian women models have agreed on this that men actually do get paid or treated well or treated poorly than females so ah uh, i don't know that's actually something interesting i don't think they do i'll have to look into it but i did hear i was reading this thing about uh models working guy models working in the model industry and the fact that guys don't have a uh, area to change because there's so little of them that they're basically getting naked in front of people <laughs> and even in front of customers because they don't have like a separate section for them but it's like no one's doing anything right so We also have a gendering debate going on because a lot of terms are male by default. So now a lot of things are written and said as both male and female by most media. Uh, even in Germany. Yeah, I think that applies a lot in European countries because you know how we used to say, uh, like, when I learned Spanish, there's always a gender in an object. You know, it's like, L something la something but i guess i could see how that could cause a gendering debate there too and i'm i'm sure that uh maybe germany has something similar to that too so yeah that's gendering has also been something happening in korea too they probably want that to be guys i'm guessing right so
Yeah, I would actually be interested in seeing this, so... Ooh! Well, oh, this is actually really cool. That they have, uh, wage gaps. You can actually... Ah, you don't care. Ooh! And people actually submit in their data? That's actually really cool. I hope no one gets caught though, right? I hate both men and women these days. <laughs> I hate people. They're so... They're so picky. I think it got worse. The amount of pickiness, and I know I shouldn't... Um, I shouldn't relate to what I keep saying previously. But I hate how people are picky. Mark, it's you. Just kidding. It's not you. But I just have to point out it's you because or else it's like... It sounds like I'm sh talking crap about my friends. So I'm just gonna say it's Mark. But... Damn, they are so... He is so picky. <laughs> like... Things... Has to be given up. You have to give up something, you know? You really have... To, it's like... Maybe I shouldn't even use the word give up. You just have to tolerate some things. And they just don't. I think it's required if the company has 250 or more employees. Ah, really? Whoa. No, I would actually be interested in looking into this. Maybe we should do some data visual data visualization with this. That'd be something fun. But they probably have a somewhere, right? So. Yeah, so recently there's like funny memes in Korea about how there's the uh, gendering in terms of some words, but um if you actually look in deep about how it is happening, there's also a lot of what you got what people say of reverse gendering there's in korea like nursing everything like heavy objects are only done or you know guys usually get to you like carry the heavy object which is a really unfortunate like in korea there's a water fountain and yours there's a water fountain where you have to put the water on top uh like the heavy water thing and it's it's pretty heavy. I would say it's maybe like... Okay, I'm not gonna guess it. I wanna say maybe 10 kilograms. Maybe 20. Um, and even at my last... My one work that I was at... One company I was at, there was one guy and none of the girls did it. Maybe one if the guy wasn't there. But mostly we made the guy do it. Or the ajashis that was coming in to change it for us. So I really did not work like like working in an all girl company. And there's actually I know I'm also being very sexist against girls, but I I don't find working with girls that attractive. They're very whiny and uh very emotional. Not saying guys aren't, but most of the times I've worked with lots of guys, they're not as whiny as I expected. Maybe I'll see 1 out of 10, but in girls I'd see like 3 or 4 out of 10. And so I, I just get so exhausted. And so I'm actually happy to work by myself. There are times like during lunchtime where I want to see people, but at the same time it's so emotionally challenging to deal with people. <laughs> And like with you guys, if I don't like you guys, I'd be like, really? You guys, are, you, you're you saying this because you if you said something hurtful to me, I think I have the right to say something hurtful to you in a nicer way or either just kick you out and like ignore you guys. So it works like that, but that doesn't work in a company setting, right? So I don't complain. I really don't complain. So keep giving me all your uh, incomes. But yeah, just uh, I, I thought this was a funny thing that was happening uh, five, six years ago. And that's actually when I was still in school thinking about genders. And at this time, I I don't want to say I was brainwashed, but I definitely had a lot of friends who were really uh, like supportive of these type of things. And I, one thing that I regret not doing when I was in when I was young is not actually looking at these type of material seriously. You know, just kind of following the trend. And I feel like that's with a lot of young folks these days is that they just end up following the trend. If one person is one-sided in terms of either 
um, the, this type of social issues or any type of, you know, like government related politics related thing they just follow without actually looking into it and that's something that i regret the most of not doing so maybe that's why i ended up hating on people more <laughs> they just don't think so 30 rock had a had an equality scene about refilling a water cooler oh really what is that what is what is 30 rock so, even to this day i that's i honestly think this gender hatred against each other is also the biggest thing that koreans or just the world in general aren't wanting to have um like dating and stuff so marriage it's like they want to get married but both gender wants the the world's ideal type and not everyone is going to have that because it's an ideal type so and they're not going to be satisfied because they look so highly on themselves being like hey i make this much but you want me to date someone like her oh no <laughs> about a woman working at a oh really i said is that me <laughs> Part of it is because now there's so many issues out there and so many information for each one so it can quickly get overwhelming when you're also dealing it with your own stuff. Well, that's true. I still have to talk to that one friend who was very into gender-related stuff. I haven't gotten to talk to her about more of this gender stuff, but I had a, I had a different friend, like there's another friend that knew of my gender issue friend and i think we made a same ground rule saying this girl needs to maybe kind of open up and um get out of the internet world honestly i i see why parents don't want their kids to be on the internet too much because of all the misleading information out there or you know not approved information out there it's really scary how you can be changed your mind can be changed um, just by reading something that's why I think the job influencers, like, if people want to be influencers, they sh need to have more responsibility. They should realize that you are not just influencing as a joke. Like, it's a legit serious job. You're not influencing for the money and that you should be really supportive of what you're saying and stuff. And so that's kind of one reason why I ended up stopped doing the stream element things because... But then if they say they're going to pay me a couple million dollars <laughs> yeah i mean i would do the same thing too right guys if money is if they're giving me lots of money right <sighs> hey the only thing that would stop me from doing influencer thing is give me money so sad money is everything but I will try not to be influenced by and really show good products like that. I want to keep my words even if they're going to pay me well. Because I I wish people have more responsibilities, right? So Yeah. Maybe that's why I don't make lots of money. That's why I try to apply for the influencer things, things that I would be interested in or would be interested using it, but it's really hard. Of course, definitely, definitely, definitely. This was fun news. <laughs> I like how I like talking about these social issues lately. I mean, it's been a while since. I mean, I usually like talking about these because I like to get rage at how stupid people are these days because let me tell you honestly i've been getting better at talking to my friends um girlfriend especially girlfriends because all i've been doing is doing more relating to them instead of being like super honest with them because you know you know the answer and you know they're not gonna listen that's that's a common way of talking amongst girls that's something that i realized is that you know the truth, you know, but they don't want to listen to the truth. 
So all you can do is say, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, really? Oh, but you should. But it was good. No, it's gray. Something, 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 right? But then, I am not that person. I like telling the truth. <laughs> so then I just come to you guys and say, hey. Mark, stop being picky! Right? But... If I don't agree with them and, you know, say the nice stuff or, you know, like, do those things, then it ends up being I'm not a good person to have a conversation with. So that's why I try to work on my conversations in terms of, you know, being more relatable. If we talk about the MBTIs, this is like the F part where you're agreeing with them instead of being more realistic on them. So... Me and I are super realistic to each other. I do say, hey, you're too realistic. Give me some of that, like, emotional agreement. But uh, most of the girls that I talk to really don't like me being very realistic, I think. They end up wanting to be like, wow, yeah, that's actually a really hard issue you're going through. I'm, I'm so sorry that you have to think about that. It's like the hardest thing. But I, I, I grew, I got, it got better on me. I... I didn't mind practice because maybe I talk crap to you guys. I'm like, oh my god, really? You think that, right? So. Yeah, yeah. It's so. Um, thank you, Chad. If it weren't for you guys, I would have died of, like, what are the anger. <laughs> I would have died of not being able to sell, t tell the truth. Yeah. Like. Yeah, yeah, no, that's so true, Alvo. It's like they just want to want me to listen. It was funny because one of my friends um, that I met like in the two weeks, you know, I met a couple of friends. Um, that's why I couldn't have any uh, editing done. Sorry, Chad. I've been hanging out with friends, so I should cut down a little bit on meeting friends. But I've had like a friend that I met, and she broke up with her boyfriend. But I think her boyfriend was like a douchebag. It was like he was. He didn't have a job, so but he was like decent looking. So she ended up having to support him a lot. But like just seeing that I'm like <laughs> Like this equals this. Really really? Right, but you can't say that. You can't say that. You cannot say that, right? So you're just like, oh man, maybe he's really trying hard. <laughs> no, he's really trying to ha look hard for jobs. You know, I was just really agreeing with it. But she talked to me the other day how she met up with someone and that person was being so honest with them and she was really upset she was really upset that that person was telling how that guy was a douchebag and then like blah 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 like you know he's using you etc and she got so upset so I was like Just, just jump, jump, jump. Like, <laughs> literally, guys, on top of my head, I had, um, I had, like, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> like, my face, when, when I just heard that, I was like. <laughs> that, that was just what I couldn't think of. So, did you ever see the It's Not a Nail YouTube short? It captures this point perfectly. No, I've not seen it. So, just. That's... I don't want to be gender uh, about it, but that's something... That's a trait I noticed among girls is... Or maybe emotional guy. A lot of emotional people is that they don't want to hear the solution. They just want the truth. I know! It's, it's definitely true, Winter. But at the same time, I'm also... I used to be like a fire... Like, angry. If there's like a situation that does not make sense to me then i'd just go up and say it like i told you when i was in high school i told my girlfriend that i didn't want to hang out with you unless you break up with your boyfriend because your boyfriend che cheated on you and he has a history and is basically using you and i just don't like the fact that you are not realizing that oh uh, she got so upset with me and we just don't we did we like i mean we 
kept in touch after that, but I don't think she was really thankful of me saying like doing that. So you know, like it's better to run away from some situation than actually say it. It's not, it's not easy, but yeah, I just, that's something that you end up noticing is in the, around the world. There's, um, so if you ever meet a girlfriend, guys, just, just don't tell them the truth. Just relate. <laughs> it, it will make your life 100% easier, right? From searching a new job. No, I think it's better. Oh. And then I go, t I come to you guys and tell it to you guys. So I, I, for me, it's better, but because at the same time, like at least for this case, why I say running away and just give them, in giving them the sweet talk is better is if you tell them the truth, that truth may not be the actual truth. So if they listen to you, and it's actually not the truth or they still have that weird feeling they might end up also hating on you too right so it's better to you know agree with them and then maybe if they end up realizing that what you agreed to did not like do something then she will end up saying ah you ended up being something something then i'll be like oh yeah i mean maybe i kind of would have thought for it, but oh, that really is unfortunate it's hard this is how you guys this is why people don't want to date people it's so energy driving even i i complained to mia the other day i was like mia i'm so exhausted from people like what's funny is after working with you guys like i also get exhausted by you guys don't worry but <laughs> but um but i just i just say mia i just get so exhausted from talking to people <laughs> Dating is draining. Like, like I, I always tell Mia, I would not be married if I did not end up marrying you. Oh, it's so exhausting. So, focus on your investment instead of getting a girlfriend. Ah, and then I mean, there's pros and cons. I, I definitely think there's pros and cons. You are less lonely. You have someone to trust, but it takes a lot of try and error to make each other be comfortable with each other and that's that's the hardest thing like some sometimes people say you shouldn't give up on something or you shouldn't try to match with the other person but i disagree on that i think at one point you should give up on something that you really enjoy to you know like match with this person or try to like fit in but if you're just going to be selfish and just you no, know, like crash every time then i honestly think you shouldn't date those people i just, i don't think should date so morning leia balance of saying things how i see them while making it clear i'm trying to consider the other person's position because running away from <laughs> me too i know let her be the lulu until she needs us lulu yeah i should do that I try to do that. I try to be like... <laughs> no, it's it's hard. It's really hard. So I hope you guys have a wonderful dating tip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I don't know how we got from man tax again from that to dating. But I do agree. If you come to him talking about your problems and not interested in finding a solution, then shut up about it. See, these people that end up saying all their solution to their significant others, so. That's a... Uh, that's unfortunate. so in the end guys i hope you guys meet the right girl or guy if if there's any girls in my chat it's but i do have to say good luck 
it's exhausting the process is exhausting and i know you would just rather want to work but being in a married life isn't bad i actually really enjoy it um even if i don't stream as much as i should be. um i mean like actually me and i did have a big talk about streaming how we can adjust it so um and there's a lot of things that i gave up on and he also feels bad about it like for example i basically gave up my you know like i could have found work right away from graduating grad school and everything but you know i'm still happy with the life that i am with you guys uh and actually there's been lots of opportunities to work with things there was definitely some downfalls but i don't think my whole entire trip of this uh content creation wasn't like a bad thing right and i got to learn a lot and i feel like my personality changed a lot from having to deal with chat you guys are like the hardest people to deal with you guys are like really naggy customers sometimes so it was really fun to deal with it was actually fun guys i got to learn how to pain you guys <laughs> ignore you guys you know but yeah it's it's not easy but um that being said i i think marriage is a good thing marriage is a good but it does like i said take trial and error you guys have no idea how many times i was like i'm going back to you as me i haven't hate you like we had so many fights but you know like we've been dating for a decent five six years and i think we both got a good hang of each other like we talk it through or we give time and we just sigh cry do all those and i get super emotional during my period so he has to deal with it and i always say i'm so sorry you have to deal with it man i'd hate to be a girl i'd hate to be a guy dating me like you know saying all these but it's it's hard it's definitely hard so um yeah if i could i would i definitely do miss working at a company but the, like i said i really do not like working at working with some people like i've never worked with the group of people that i wanted to actually i did i did have a group of people that i really enjoyed working with but i think that's the hardest thing about working in a company is having to work with good people there's always that one person that people are gonna hate on and you don't you have those times when you're like why isn't the company firing this person he's not even working uh, so every time I read these like layoff e like news, I'm like, has that person been fired yet? <laughs> no, it's like, why hasn't them? Uh, why hasn't this person been fired? Like, oh, so going through that stress is actually super stressful for me because as you guys, I'm a super straight person, straightforward person, and I, if I see something that I don't like, as in he's not working, he's on his phone 24/7 at work not getting stuff back to me asap when i've given my stuff and he's causing the bottleneck of my process then i just get so stressed so if i think about that then having me just do my own crap is much better so in that sense i don't want to join the workforce but it's it's definitely a pro and con if i have to think about like paying the taxes and it's um i think working at a company has a lot of uh, benefits i can see me myself going back but it does mean that i don't get to, i won't be able to stream a lot so that's why i built my own company uh that's why i did brand do a branding of this uh as a company because i just got so sick of people not working and i i that's why i said you guys only people who are hard working can watch my stream or else don't come don't watch my stream <laughs> probably aged a lot faster working i would i would definitely agree i would definitely agree yeah 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 you guys leave Just kidding. you guys are like hard working don't so i know i definitely agree company is definitely good for financial stability yeah me too I made a list of benefits and disadvantage. Would you mind sharing the list of marriage? I want to see it. 
And then, okay, really last content. I want to rest. You guys are not making me rest. <laughs> I have to edit. But really last content for today. Yeah. If I worked. Oh, thank you. Let me give you the benefits and disadvantages for marriage. And I'll call it a day. So marriage. Okay. Let me talk about disadvantage. Wait, can I do this? Check on my my in-laws might see this. Okay, well uh, screw it. I'm just gonna do it. <sighs> I don't know about other countries, but in-laws. I love my in-laws. I I let me just say this. I love my in-laws. <laughs> But I have to put it in disadvantage because here's the thing. I'm a, I already spent six years tr fighting with Mia, like not physically fighting, but vocally fighting with Mia, trying to make it the same ground rules. Right? It took me six years of yelling, screaming, you know, like telling him I'm going to leave Korea, telling him you're not trying to blah, blah, blah. It took me six years now the in-laws is a different story especially because i'm in a korean household right this is where it becomes i cannot yell at them right if they do something that i feel very uncomfortable with i cannot yell at them i cannot say anything against them it's all like ah okay ha 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 right so um that's something that actually after marriage, Mia and I fought a lot about in-laws and that how it for me, as you guys know, for someone who's being su super straightforward, the fact that I cannot say something straightforward was the hardest thing. Yeah, these days. So we ended up saying, Mia, if you want me to treat your mom and your dad like my mom and my dad, I have to tell them the truth. Like there are things that I feel uncomfortable when they say it. So. I should do sign language. What is F you in sign language? Then? <laughs> like they're a really nice person, but they're not really nice people. But sometimes um, I can feel like they're crossing the line. And I think it's because they also feel awkward having a daughter-in-law. Um, and they don't know what it feels like having a daughter because they don't have the daughter, right? They don't have it's they have they have two sons. So that's, I think, something that I realized. So really nice grief uh people and everything but sometimes it's hard for me to say it and i think this goes around with everyone around the world so even i got mia saying oh why don't you treat like uh, your your mom and i'm like dude i yell at my mom i tell her mom that makes no sense my mom my mom and i fight i swear to her i'm like f you <laughs> and i say f you but i'm like this situation is effed up, you know, like blah, blah, we fought a lot. Like my mom, like, do you want me? Do you want that to happen with your mom? You know, that's actually what I said. Like my mom and I fought and it took me 30 years to not have a fight with her. 30 years and we still fight. <laughs> like, do you want that to happen with your mom? So I think in-laws is, can be good. Like, I honestly think 99% of in-laws are going to be great, but there's always that makes you feel uncomfortable or that they're crossing the line and you can't do anything about it, like say against it. And I think this goes around the world, like country-wise. Um, disadvantage is like meeting people. And this, I, it really depends on the household, but I stopped hanging out with my guy friends because one, I told Mia not to hang out with his girlfriend. So he said, if I do it, you do it. He's very equalistic. So, uh, this is strictly for marriage. I wanted to do disadvantage against marriage because someone wrote a huge, uh, something wrote about marriages. So, uh, so anyways, uh, that's why I cannot see people, um, and another issue is like i told you like two weeks for two weeks my friend's been talking about dating and i have passed that stage it's like 
how should I really? If you are playing Diablo, I'm guessing everyone played Diablo. People are talking about like trying to complete Act One. You've completed Act One and Act Two, and you're moving on to Act Three. Act One will sound kind of like boring, or it's like baby talk for you guys. Or if you guys play Lost Ark, these people are talking about trying to finish the raid with Valtan or Cuckoo Satan, right? And I'm already at like um. Ekidna, or uh, like the higher race, and you're just kind of like... Ah, okay, well, like... You know the answer! And these people are so stubborn, Mark, that they will not l lean in. Oh! <gasps> so. Mark will be the uh, guinea pig for today, because I cannot talk crap about anywhere else. <laughs> so, Managing money... Actually, money is actually a very interesting field for me. Because I don't make that much money. I'll be honest. You guys don't give me that much money. <laughs> it's true. I do have to be honest with you guys, right? So, uh... Me as being mostly supporting my thing. Unless I go for traveling, then I use my card. Because dollars are more cheaper. Or, like, it's better to use dollars. So... But, like, he's not rich, so we are very... We try really hard to not spend on bad things. Like, not bad things, but useless things. So, in terms of managing money, I think that's really dependent on the personality. Because I hate ma money management. I just cannot do it. Because... It stresses me out, so I just give it to Mia. But I heard there are girls that want to have that in control and give guys, like, you know, like, what are they? Like, allowance? Isn't that weird? Guy earns money but gets allowance? That's, that makes no sense. So, uh, for me, I honestly said if you make money and you're better at more money management, then I will give it to you. But he tries to give it to me. So we we just had a honest opinion, honest talk about money money management and uh, how we should uh, save up money for our future child. That's that's the only thing we talked about. So it really varies on couples, and I think we have controlled it better than most couples. So in that sense, it's not a disadvantage, at least for me. But I can see it in other people that money management is really hard. Yeah, they basically give a guy $20, maybe $40 a week, $40, $50 a week. Yeah. Not even $40. But really small amount. And I've actually heard people say, you know, I'm trying to save up money. If you want to something something, you should get a second job, blah blah blah. But honestly, I think for me, this is the only disadvantage. I don't really have that many disadvantage for marriage. What are some disadvantage? Well, marriage. I don't think for me I have that many disadvantages. Yeah, I cannot think of- No, I didn't space out. No, I actually did space out. You are right. No, I was trying to think of a disadvantage. Not you. Actually, I enjoy my marriage life, so I'm okay. I have more benefits than marriage. So I always tell you guys, get married. I think there's more disadvantage being single. I just did not like being single. It's boring. Like, 
I like having someone on my side. Someone who's honest with me and tells me so. And having to complain about stuff that I can't tell other people. I like having that. So for me, I always enjoyed being in a relationship. That's why I tell my friend I've been in I've been in a relationship for 12 years and I've only met three guys. Cause my first boyfriend ended in two days, my second boyfriend ended in five years, and my third, my current husband is like five, six years and continuing. So I didn't have that many time periods where I was single. So I really liked being in a relationship. Maybe that's an issue. <laughs> so, guys, end of the story. Be in a relationship. It's good for your health. It's very good, okay? Anyways, guys, let's call it a day. I'm spacing out. I should go eat and uh, take maybe like 30 minute rest before I start editing. Having to make payments? Yeah, I hate being a guy. I would hate being a guy, guys. Honestly... You guys have so much to lose. You guys have so much money to lose. But anyways, that's all for today's discussion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for not being uh, hard streaming, but uh, today I'll, I'll meet less people. Guys, meeting too many people. I'm super exhausted. <laughs> so anyways thanks for watching i had fun thank you for the donation thank you for the subs you guys are awesome i had a very nice time ripping you guys off that's always my good deed for today thank you guys but anyways this was all for my stream i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to follow us up and see you guys in my next uh uh today is okay tomorrow i'm going IRL. i'm going to see Zora again haha <laughs> yeah another talk about being single maybe i'll be I'll be super honest, be like, Sora, drop the good looking part. We'll see. Uh, okay, I'll definitely check it on the screen. Hey, I'll have a donation girl up there. If anyone wants to do, like, tell Sora, drop handsome. <laughs> $50. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm never gonna say it. But, anyways, this was all for today's stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions, you know, like, come to my Discord. But, you guys know the rules. <laughs>